Hi, I'm Kenley. And I am Karina. And, and we, we are, are BT Scouts. Scout. While the world has been, um, has been worrying about rising sea levels and climate change, we, uh, they have noticed there's a more immediate threat gnawing away at our flood defenses. We have done some research and we found the culprit Red Hand, or should I say Red Tooth, meet public enemy number one. Oh God. <laughs> As you can see, we have several articles detailing the destruction these animals unleash, not just on our dike. Even Italy, which isn't exactly famous for a below sea level real estate like the Netherlands, has fallen victim to these foreign engineers. For example, in uh, January 2014 in San Mateo, a levee failure caused by uh, their burrowing uh, had uh, cost uh, 500 million dollars fl in flood damages. In the Netherlands, the Beavis uh, has cost 1.4 billion in damages just in 2022. And with no natural predators, their territory has expanded to an astounding 5,500 square kilometers. Talk about a housing crisis. We want the beaver to be able to live with us because it's an endangered species and it's a great asset to our ecosystem. Um, Therefore, we have to monitor their beaver burrows to determine if it's a threat to our national security and we can determine how we can correctly repair these beaver burrows. Um, as of right now, there are no tools to do it. Uh, they are using right now chimney sweepers with cameras on it and spoiler alert. This doesn't work very well. That's where BT Scout comes in, your underground guardian against flooding damages. BT Scout maps tunnels from inside out, bring transparency to what's usually a very dark situation in the tunnels. After all, when it comes to our infrastructure, we can't just leave it to a beaver, I mean, chance. So the, beef, uh, so the robot is uh, made of um, two screws, Archimedes screws, to be able to drive through muddy terrains and underwater um, other water situations. It has two lighters, one lighter to scan and one lighter to see for its navigation. So see it as like um, giving the robot some eyes and a sense of touch. Our navigation algorithm uses depth first search approach with lighter input to explore all tunnels. It, uh, collect, it scans the area collecting coordinate points and scans them by angle. It then measures the gap between uh, neighboring points uh, if, and if it's uh, wider than the robot's width, it is being determined as a potential tunnel entry. And that's why it's going to explore it. After all neighboring nodes are found, the current area is marked visited. The robot then recursively explores each unvisited tunnel, moving to new coordinates and scanning. And our cutting edge technology has reached attention of major stakeholders. We have STOA Applied Research Institute of Waterboards and Deltares working with us. We have been working with, uh, closely with the levy experts of Deltares, Frans van den Berg and Stefan Rickert. And it doesn't even stop there. We even got a voucher of 15,000 euros to get a, um, to get a testing location at Floodproof Holland. And we were even invited to do a military uh, exercise about flood prevention uh, in Marnevaert, where I uh, participated and could even present our robot about beavers. For the future, we are not standing still. We are working with SIA Tools, a company specializing in water, underwater robotics to make BT Scout fully waterproof. We are also exploring the possibility of replacing LiDAR system with uh, the computer vision technology so that we can make the robot even smaller. So we promise we won't make it so small that the beaver mistake it for a snack. On March 20th, 2025, we'll be presenting at a major beaver conference, hoping to secure additional funding and partnerships. In conclusion, BT Scout isn't just a robot. It's a tool for infrastructure protection, for nature preservation, and to secure our national security when it comes to floods. Uh, BT Scout maps tunnels from inside out.